Hi, it's Shane McLeod here from Remax Gold in Gladstone and welcome to 4 Wodonga Street in Clinton. This home is a late 80s vintage low set brick home and solid as a rock throughout. It's been in the family for about 30 years now. Um, these uh, couple have downsized now and moved on and it is open for a fam another family to come along and take advantage of a great size three bedroom home is a lot bigger than the standard three bedroom floor plan that you'll see and a few extras to go along with it as well. Three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a big double garage plus carport at the uh, front of the home. Got a little bit of side access on the other side being a corner block to pop in a trailer or a dinghy there as well. Great deck on the front um, and solid, solidly built throughout. You'll see when we go inside. But look, as we always do, let's start outside. We'll do a pan of the street and a quick walk around the yard before we get on inside for a look through. Okay, so Wodonga Street sits between J Hickey Avenue in Clinton and uh, Aramac Drive down the other end. And uh, we're on the corner of Bingara and Wodonga Street here. Nice, neat neighbourhood. Um, well established in the uh, 80s uh, over here through Seaview Heights. Um, good neighbours all around, as you can see, everything's uh, kept nice and neatly around you as well. So as we pan around to the house itself for the street view, uh, as you can see, it is all fully fenced uh, around on the front of the block. The house is set back on the block, so your yard is more on the front and the right hand side. And then uh, you've also got all this great parking space out the front. There is still room on that left hand side there. You pop that tree out. Uh, you could probably get a caravan or another boat there if you wanted to. You've got that nice big double carport there uh, and a, a big double garage there as well. So undercover parking for four, you'd get another one, two, three out here, no problem at all. And as I mentioned in the intro, there's also a bit of side access out the other side, which I'll show you in a moment, where you could pop a trailer uh, or a little dinghy there. So nice, uh, nice, quite uh, inviting little entrance to the home, which brings you straight onto the front deck. So if you are entertaining, uh, you're bringing people out here, catch a nice breeze out here, pretty well all day round uh, and into the evening. And you've got that nice big patio there as well to utilize. So great deck space, all under cover. Uh, you've got those uh, roller blinds on the front there as well. You will get the morning sun out here, which would be great in winter. And nice little bit of yard out the front here as well. If you've got little ones and just want to sit out here and let them play around in the yard. Plenty of options to do that too. All well-established trees in there. Um, as well and good yard space around here so if you've got a medium-sized dog be a good size block for the furry member of the family as well as you can see all good solid brick right the way around which does continue through the inside and this is that other side access uh, on the Bingara Street side that I was talking about so there's a double gate there you can just get some access just to park something up in here it's not going to be anything huge you'll get in here but certainly you know that trailer for your weekend jobs or a small fishing dinghy certainly got room to do that that little ladder section there comes uh, off the main ensuite um, but it's just another little access into the main bedroom from that side as well you'll see on the power box there there is a solar system uh, connected. It's about a one and a half kilowatt system, so a smaller system, but you can certainly expand on that. There's plenty of roof space up there uh, as well. Security screens and doors, a little aviary out here at the back, and your hanging, clothes hanging here as well. Your laundry is directly through this back door, so when I take you out to the garage, you'll see that. Very handy. Just to pop out, hang the clothes, you're done and out the road. And just back down the side of the, what is the left-hand side of the house, looking at it from the front. 
So nice and easy to get around. Makes that yard maintenance nice and accessible as well. All right, let's get up into the house, up onto that nice big timber deck. Nice little outlook over the neighbourhood there. Like that barbie on the weekend or Sunday morning breakfast, you've got a great spot out here. So in the late 80s when this was built, and it's around 1988, our bicentennial year, this one was built. This is brick walls all the way throughout. Great for maintenance in terms of you're not going to get holes banged around in these by any stretch. But if you wanted to come in and modernise anything, you could certainly render them. And that would have a really nice effect as well. You do step down into this lounge, which has those nice high raked ceilings there. Quite a large lounge area. And one thing you don't see too much of in Gladstone, a fireplace. We maybe get those couple of weeks of cooler weather um, in winter here, but by and large, we won't have to be lighting that up. It's probably a good decoration feature more than anything these days. Vertical blinds throughout and those raked ceilings continue through to the dining area as well. I'll come back to that. We'll pop up the end of the house. You can see plenty of linen storage up in the hallway as we head up to the bedrooms. They are shelved all the way through. Plenty of storage space in there. That's a triple linen cupboard, that one. Separate toilet. I did mention we've got two and a half bathrooms, so three toilets in this house. This is off the main bathroom. Big bathroom. Now, it is still the original cabinetry and toilet uh, tiles in here, but it is still all in such great nick. Um, for its age, it's held up really well. So, if you like that retro look, you'll get it here. I've just had something done at my place uh, where there's a gentleman uh, by the name of Steve Seamless Flooring who will come in and uh, cover the counters and cupboards if you need need them done uh, with a uh, seamless uh, epoxy covering, which would save you pulling all that out. You could update it all very easily uh, utilising a system like that. Shower is easy enough to upgrade if you want, maybe with some more modern shower screens, and you've got a nice big bathtub there as well, which bigger blokes like me will certainly appreciate. Uh, along with the uh, linen storage in the hall, You've got that big triple on this side as well. Your hot water system is in the end uh, of that cupboard. It's a nice big electric hot water system. So you've got uh, another two bays of storage space in the bathroom. So handy to get at those towels when you need them. Okay, as we come back out, remember to the right there is back to the living area. Helping you get your bearings to the left. We've got all the bedrooms up this end. And they are huge. So... You can get a couple of kids in here if you need need the little ones uh, sharing a room. Certainly get uh, a couple of singles in there quite comfortably uh, if you need them to share. Otherwise, a nice big queen, possibly a king, be a tight king, but yeah, definitely a queen in there as well. So fans in all bedrooms, nice big double robes. And all the things, if you're thinking, oh, you know, it needs some updating, they're, they're mainly cosmetic things. You can swap out things like wardrobe doors for the mirrored ones uh, quite easily. The carpets are still all in good nick. They look to be like the good wool Berber carpets. And as I said, the bricks can be easily tidied up as well. Walking into this one, you'd think you're in the master, but no, this is bedroom two. It's a monster. You definitely get a king in here if you wanted one. Uh, but this is bedroom two. There is a box air conditioner uh, down in the window there in here. I said fans and a nice big triple robe in this one. So teenagers would love this room for its size. Nice big bedroom there. 
Okay, another robe at the end of the hallway there. You'll see me come around here in a minute. And this is the master, again, king-size bedroom. You could put the bedroom around either way here with the window behind you or as it is laid out here. It is a huge room. So nice big windows there to let that natural light in when it's all opened up. Plenty of room in here. All right, and with that is a huge walkthrough robe through to the ensuite. So hanging and shelving space either side. I walk through places like this and I just start thinking straight away that all that I could do with it. It's such a good solid home. So it is uh, something that you can definitely put a few dollars in and make some money because of the sheer size of it. It's definitely a lot larger than the three bedroom standard layouts that we see in some of the newer homes. They certainly built them big back in the day when three bedrooms were more the go than four bedders. So nice big ensuite, room to swing a cat and draw yourself at the same time. Behind those curtains is out to that lattice area that we saw outside before. Okay. So big bedrooms all the way around, even the smallest of the three is is bigger than uh, just about all bedrooms you see in the newer homes these days. Okay, so that traditional layout, bedrooms and bathrooms on one end of the home, living on the other end is what you're looking at here. Nice big living areas we're coming back to. So again, back off that huge lounge, we've got those nice high raked ceilings. And we come back around here to a nice big dining area. So these guys have just got a little four-seater there as they've downsized over the years. That's all they've needed. But you could get a eight to 10-seater in there, no problem at all. And it's right off the kitchen. Nice little brekkie bar. The kitchen has had an upgrade. So that is all nice, neat and tidy. Nice big benches uh, all the way through there. Room for your big double fridge. No problem at all right there. Nice big pantry. Westinghouse oven and separate grill there, wall mounted. And a nice big ceramic stove. Again, all Westinghouse and a larger range hood there as well. It's a 900 uh, size plate. Good cupboard space above and below. Plenty of bench space, nice big double sink with drying pans on either side. Just great condition throughout. All right, and that takes us down to our garage, which has internal access uh, as well. So manual doors there, but certainly pop on, uh, you've got room to pop on some uh, automatic openers if you want. Uh, it's had that spray pave done uh, at some stage to seal downstairs here. As you can see, plenty deep enough for a lot of cars and four-wheel drives. I'd have to measure it, but I'd hazard a guess to say that those doors are higher than usual height as well. So maybe if you've got a four-wheel drive with roof racks, that might work there for you. Uh, and the left-hand side bay is a bit deeper as well. So if you want to set up a little workbench, or something up in there, keep it as it is for the spare fridge or freezer. Certainly could do all that out here as well. One thing I've certainly noticed, like we're in the thickest summer here at the moment, being all brick inside and out, this is a really cool home. Um, I don't know what sort of insulation, if any, is up in the roof, but it certainly doesn't feel like it needs it. And this room in the back here is your laundry. Again, nice big size laundry. Any room over there for a front loader or a top loader. You could mount a dryer on the wall there, no problem if you wanted to. And that third toilet is out this side as well. So no one's running and rushing to get 
call, it's out the road in the morning, you've got three to choose from, which is very handy. So as we've been walking around, I guess you could already see and agree that this truly is a large home, certainly still of that 80s style vintage, but it's all been so well maintained. So, you know, if it's not broken, there's no need to fix it unless you want to make the changes yourself. All right, let's head back out to that front deck and we will wrap this up. Okay, so thanks for joining me on this tour of 4 Wodonga Street in Clinton. Uh, let's just hit a few of those big notes there for it. It's three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, big living areas throughout, big bedrooms, lovely deck out here on the front. It's a 686 square block altogether, built in uh, around that 1988 mark. Um, nice big corner block, all fenced, uh, big car parking with two garages, two carports, that side access and then more um, driveway parking as well. So it certainly has a lot on offer from uh, more on offer from your standard three bedroom home that you might be seeing in the market. If you'd like uh, some more details, including price, more pictures, the floor plan, click on the link in this post here. Uh, and that will take you to the website with all of that information on it. If you are pre-approved and ready to go with your finance or cash ready to buy, uh, give me a call for your private inspection. There are no open homes on my properties. Uh, we only show to people who are in a position and ready to buy. Um, so we can ensure that the sellers are comfortable with who, are, who is coming through their home is ready to actually go. Give me a call. My number is 041 1945. Come and check out the house. It's a great area. St John's School is also just up the road, a couple of hundred metres walk away. Bunnings and the Clinton's shops are all nearby as well. Bottle shops, gym, everything is in place over here at Clinton for you to live a great family life, which is one reason it's so popular over this way. Thanks again for joining me. Please like and like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be kept up to date with uh, with these walkthroughs and properties coming to the market. This is where you'll find me. Thanks again. Cheers.